Okay, so you've used all of your steak and chicken and all that and you're stuck with a bunch of hot dogs because you made sure you got lots of hot dogs for the kids and you're looking at it going, I don't want hot dogs for breakfast. And there's no eggs, there's no, you know, you got maybe some potatoes. I don't know, let's just, you know, you got hot dogs to work with. <laughs> what do you do to make that a meal fit for a king? I'm gonna show you, pay attention. All right, first thing you wanna do is cut up. If you're gonna use a whole pack of hot dogs, use a whole onion. If you're gonna use four or five hot dogs, use half an onion. And same goes with the um, garlic. Same goes with the garlic. I'm gonna use two for half the pack, but you can use two for the whole pack. I just like the garlic flavor. So let's get those cut up. Alrighty. I just cut off the little ends. I will use a whole garlic in one day, whether I use half of it for this meal and half of it for dinner, or use the whole thing for this meal. I'm only gonna use half because I don't eat the whole thing but I will use the other half for dinner because I know what I'm making for dinner. So, so, did you guys hear the news? Apparently, the idiot's been set on the loose <laughs> just before Halloween. Oh my goodness, scary times. I call him that because I don't, if I call him that, I can talk about anybody. <laughs> um, you want about eighth of a cup to a quarter cup of, um, of uh, oil in that pan. I will show it. Well, you can probably see it. I don't know. Anyway, it's on low right now. Because um, I gotta get the hot dogs. I'm making breakfast too. Because I'm having. Um, I'm tired of sausage. I'm tired of turkey bacon. Um, so I decided I'm gonna make me some hot dogs. <laughs> All right, so then you get your, I just score it. I think it's just easier for me to see my other videos. And the same way you do an onion, right? You gotta be really careful with gloves because you can easily slice them and I just don't want all you know not only do I wear gloves because I live on a farm but I just don't want you know garlic burns it gets in under your fingernails I don't know it burns a juice these are my fermented ones I fermented these I got a whole gallon or half gallon jug of them I gotta do another half gallon. Um, they last a long time. You do like a whole half gallon, ferment them, and then stick them in your fridge or a cold room. Oh my gosh, I've had that one for a while. There's some days I use fresh and some days I use them. Yeah, it just depends on what I feel like doing. in there and give that a little whirl. I have the heat on really low because I don't want to burn the onion or the garlic. Um, when you burn them, they, they take, you know, you can eat them like that, but the garlic, the garlic will take on a very um, bitter taste. That's just me. Um, oh. We're making cookies too, you guys. <laughs> no, put it on for two more minutes. Almost done. Okay, so this is hot dogs. Yes, I got them for $1.96. You can't see that because it washed off because I stuck them in um, hot water to thaw them. These are beef, the long, the long beef. I'm going to probably use about four of them. And the rest, maybe Jeremy will have for dinner. I'll make him corn dogs for dinner because I make my own batter and stuff. You just get them skewers, make your batter, dip it, and put it in a you know deep pan. Anyway, I want to um, cut these up. No, I'm not ashamed to show you a dollar ninety six. Get them on sale. What are you gonna pay full price for? 
All right. So you're going to cut them up like little coins. That's it. Pretty simple. And these are a little bit icy still, but that's all right. It'll just make that go. <laughs> So you're just gonna um, make cut up little coins or however you want to do it. You want to chop them up into little pieces, you chop those up into little pieces. I just like the coins. And I won't, I'll eat like a small bit of this, but I will freeze it into like four meals. And I can pull it out, throw it on there, heat it up. So I only have to make it once in a while. You're gonna love this, especially if you like seasoning, spices, and you know. Um, so you can do lots of corn dogs. People just don't think about it. Or corn dogs with hot dogs. People just don't think about it. These are a little bit tough in the middle because they're still frozen a little bit. Um, you can use them in a casserole. You can. Use, it's just meat. They just make it look like this. Probably not parts of the animal you would want to actually see and eat, but it doesn't matter, it's still me. All right, Let's throw those on in there. Give them a quick cook and I will turn up that. Ah, I lost the hot dog under the stove. All right, you just kind of mix that up a little bit. Let that cook through a little bit. You're not in any hurry. You're not in any hurry, you don't have if you're in a hurry, turn it up, but you better be stirring your butt off. <laughs> but I'm in no hurry. I'm just going to let that cook a little bit. Over here, you can see. Um, I'm knocking out two birds with one stone. I've got hash browns underneath, and um, I put the fat flat plate on, and I'm cooking Jeremy's and Chris, the turkey bacon. If you haven't tried turkey bacon, it's pretty good, you guys. Quick tip on the Farmer John's sausage that you get at the dollar store. Walmart used to have it. They don't have it out here, but we get it at the dollar store. Christopher likes sausage. Jeremy and Jeremy might eat a piece here and there. Um, but if you keep them together, I just broke them up right now. But if you keep them together as a whole, they will not shrink as much as they do when they're single. When they're single, they shrink up like, as big as like a little pinky. But if you um, keep them together, frozen, put them on there frozen, keep them together, or not for them, just keep them together. And they'll shrink up a lot less. Just a tip, try it. All right, now that it's had a few minutes to, like two or three minutes to just meld together the flavors and all of that, um, I turned it up. And we are going to put, I don't use teaspoons and all that when I cook. I'm just gonna put a pinch of salt, a little bit more than a pinch, about a pinch and a half. And then I'm going to put in a nice pinch of pepper because we like pepper and then a little dash of garlic powder and I just put the onion powder in I forgot to turn the camera back on <laughs> I had to go get it and then you just kind of you know meld those flavors together now I did turn it up higher because now um, I want the sausage, or the, the sausage, see I call it sausage now because I don't look at it as hot dogs anymore. I let the hot dog um, kind of get a little bit brown, like, you know, it'll sear a little bit brown. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you, you fry the hot dog first and then put the onions and garlic in. I do it both ways, just whatever. And I took the turkey off of there because I had to turn the hash browns. They're just about done. And here's the hash browns. We like them nice and thick. I can make them thin, but I don't know. I kind of like them nice and thick. And this is what the boys will have. And their sausage is already done. And I will make Chris eggs. Jeremy does not like eggs. All right, then I get um, diced tomatoes with green chilies. Let me focus you. All right, then you get this can. You read that now? Yeah. They have all kinds, different kinds with green chili. You can cut up your own jalapenos, your own yellow banana pepper. It doesn't matter, whatever you like to use. I would usually use banana peppers, but I've got a lot to do today, so I'm getting me a little bit of help, and I'm just gonna toss that whole can in there. And you saw how the, how the hot dogs are, can you see that? The hot dogs are, oh, sorry. So you can see how the hot dogs have been, you know, I cooked them and the bottom was actually from the from the 
caramelization of the onions and stuff, the bottom actually got sticky. But once you put, don't worry about that. Once you put the onions in, guess what? Or the onions, the tomatoes. Once you put the tomatoes in, that all changes. So all your seasonings are in there. You've got your, your tomatoes in there. And I'm going to add one more thing. I'm holding the camera, so you got to deal with it. All right, I put in one of these small cans um, of tomato sauce. I put in the whole can. Um, I like mine really saucy. Okay, so besides that, you know, this, how many ounces is this? 10 ounce can, eight ounce can, it doesn't matter, whatever you wanna do, okay? And I'm just gonna leave this on the stove here for about 10, 15 minutes and just let those flavors blend in really nice, okay? Um, you can add whatever you want. You wanna add corn to it to make it a bigger meal? Corn, peas, carrot, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with this, okay? This is what home cooking is about. You don't need all you need are your basic flavors, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, or the, the real deal. If you don't have the real deal, the powders will do great. Just be careful with the garlic salt, the onion salt, because you're putting regular salt. That's why we say use powders, okay? Because um, they're not salted, they're just powdered down. They're not added salt. If you want to add salt, you can powder it down, you know, grow your own garlic and onion, powder them down, and dehydrate them, and then mix it with salt. And there you got your garlic salt and your onion salt. <laughs> They get us to buy the dumbest things, but then again, you know, now we have time to do everything. Back in the day, I look at me, it was only a year ago. Back in the day, everything was available at the supermarket. It still is. I'm just saying there's going to come a time when it's not. So anyway, this is going to just cook. I'm going to turn it up a little bit and get that going because I want it to start boiling. And um, when you taste this, those will not taste like hot dogs. They will have no flavor of a hot dog. I guarantee it. You're going to love it. Try it. Alright, you see it's been about five minutes and it's come up to a nice boil. It's been boiling for about three, four minutes now. And let it boil. See, boiling is going to let the water from the tomatoes um, reduce. That's why you want to boil it. You, you want it saucy, but you want a thick sauce and it'll thicken up without, you know, any um, flour or anything like that. You don't want to put none of that stuff in here, okay? This will get nice and thick. It's going to be the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, so I've got, I've got, I'm cook, trying to cook breakfast. I'm trying to cook cookies. I got my dog running around with the cone on her head because she got an ear infection. And I got another dog thinking now that she's got the cone, can't protect herself. He's going to be the boss today. See what I'm dealing with? You see what I'm dealing with? She runs out. Look how dented it is because she hits everything. So I got to bring her in here and lay her down. I can't do videos. I can't do anything because between her and the kid, ah, I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I got Christopher wanting his eggs. I got Jeremy wanting his turkey. I got a lot going on. So when I do a video, I'm sorry that they're not like the other ones, pristine with the pristine looking kitchen. And they talk so softly and sweet and the house is completely silent. That's because they yelled at their husband, get the kids out of the damn house now. Okay, I'm trying to do a video. I took, spent, stayed up all night cleaning my kitchen so I could shoot this video. And if you don't get them the hell out now, I'm gonna see a lawyer on Monday. That's what you hear. <laughs> or their teenage kids. If you don't get in there and clean that living room, I'm taking your phones, I'm taking your computers, I'm taking everything. You got 10 minutes. Go. I've got to film this video. I'm trying to make money for my family. I need as many likes and subscribes and hit the bells as I can get. Now get in there and clean and honey it over there and whoop their butts while they're doing it and follow them around with that belt. I swear you don't got to hit them, but you better get make them do it. Make them do it because I'm getting pissed. I got to clean this house. I got a lot going on. I've got to get this video. Do you want money? How about that baseball hat you've been wanting? Huh? You want what? You've been wanting that new toy for your computer? Remember that? You talked about it last night. Remember that? Do you want that? I need them to like and subscribe and hit the bell. So can you please get over there and help them? And can you clean the bathroom too? The bathroom's nasty. I don't pee stand to that. No, I don't. I sit down. It splash. You splash. You're a splasher. That's just the way it is. That's the way you were made. Can you please take care of business? Please clean the bathroom. I don't want to do it. I got a lot going on today. And when you all are done, I want y'all out of my house. Get the hell out. Go to the moot. Can't, okay, we're on, we're, on, we're on COVID. We're COVID. They made that a thing, you know? It's a thing. It breathes. It's got personality. It's got a heart. It's got everything. It's a human. 
okay? That's what COVID is now. It's human. All right, so can you go outside? Go outside. What's that game? Red light, green light. Tire them out for bed. Red light, just don't be loud. Be quiet, got a lot going on, honey. I swear, I swear if I hear one more piece of crap from any of these kids, I've gotta get this video done. I wanna do it in the next 30 minutes. Can you please get the kids out of my house? Thank you. <sighs> All right, now. So, it's been about five, six minutes. We're just gonna lower that right back down like that. We're gonna let that cook. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let that cook. We're gonna let it cook a little bit longer on low. You see how thick that is? Doesn't that look good? It's not gonna taste like hot dogs. I promise you, it's not gonna taste like hot dogs. Look at that. He's got the TV on while I'm recording. I told you to get him out of the house. I told, get him out now. He's got the TV on while I'm recording, okay? I, need I say more? All right, so I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to edit that. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so we're back. And look at this. Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look nice? Nice and thick and yummy. Now, if you didn't add enough salt, or pepper, you can add that while you sit down at the table and eat it. Mm-hmm, you sure can. Doesn't that look delicious? This can go great by itself. With eggs, bacon, whatever you want, your potatoes for breakfast. I wanna fix my plate. I'm gonna make my eggs first, cause I gotta have my eggs too. And I'll get right back with you. Um, babe, babe, it's dying. It's dying, the, cat, the battery's dying. It's dying, look, it's, it's blinking, it's red. Did you put the other one on the charger? You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. I'm filming. Oh my god. Oh my. Serious. All right, there it is on my plate, and as you can see, um, it's not runny. It's not runny at all. Look at that. Nice, thick sauce. Oh, there. Nice, thick sauce. Okay. So make it, try it, it's really good. It will not taste like hot dogs. I got me a couple of tortillas. I like to burn my tortillas a little bit. And there we have it, that's my breakfast. I doubt that I'll eat it all, but I'm going to make a good effort. All right, y'all know that Chinese eat with wood, Americans eat with silver or metal. Mexicans do the same. They do all of them. However, we like to eat with our tortillas with our hands. Yes, we do. Get a little bit of everything. Got a little potato, a little bit of hot dog, or my meat, and uh, a little bit of egg. And you just kind of hold it and scoop it up. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That little can of chilies, you guys, it's all the heat you need. If you want more, put more, but I wouldn't. Just, man, that's spicy. It is so good. You've got to try it. It is amazing. Not that I'm an amazing cook. My mom taught me a lot of dishes, and then I just added to them or whatever, but this is one dish I always see her making. I never taste it until I got later, older in years, and I'm going to see what that tastes like. Mmm, it tastes so good. Try it. All right. Love you guys. Bye.